Throughout history, people have thought about the origin of life. They have put forth various ideas. We can categorize these ideas into two groups. The first group is those of materialists. They believe in the absolute existence of matter, and they use the theory of evolution to account for the origin of life. According to this theory of evolution, all living beings were descended from first primitive cell. This primitive cell emerged by coincidence from lifeless matter and gradually became complex, giving rise to hundreds of thousands of different species over the course of millions of years. The second group is those of creationists. They believe life was consciously created by a supreme creator who possessed infinite knowledge, wisdom, intelligence, artistry, and manifested these attributes in all living beings, creating them perfect and fully formed from the time they first emerged. Now, both of these views stand in opposition to each other, and they both can't simultaneously be true for the same thing. Therefore, one of them must be false. We can use science as a tool to verify which one of them is the truth. Modern scientific findings have provided two major pieces of evidences for establishing the truth about origin of life. The first major evidence comes from scientific field paleontology. Paleontology aims to establish the history of life by using data from fossils. Fossils are remains or traces of living beings that existed long ago and were deposited in the rocks. We can use this science of fossils to establish whether the theory of evolution has any credibility. If claims of evolutionists were right, there should have been enormous number of transitional forms of living beings evolving into different species. There should have been in-between forms of fishes changing into amphibians or amphibians turning into reptiles and reptiles into birds and other mammals. But of all the discovered fossils, not a single fossil of any intermediate form of evolved species has ever been found. On the contrary, fossils found in the Cambrian strata show that the majority of the animal phylum are suddenly and fully formed. The emergence of species was so sudden and so wide-ranging that scientists gave it the name of Cambrian Explosion. Fossils from Cambrian rocks belong to distinct invertebrate life forms. These life forms possess complex systems, advanced physiological structures identical to those possessed by today's living beings. The most interesting thing about these indistinct life forms is that they had no ancestors existing before. The sudden emergence of living species possessing complex systems and extraordinary features with no forerunners clearly refute the claims of simpler living forms evolving gradually to complex living forms. And this also proves the fact that all living beings were created out of evolution. The second major piece of evidence comes from the molecular biology. Evolutionists maintain that the first living cell emerged by coincidence when certain chemical reactions took place in the primordial soup some 4 billion years ago. Recent scientific findings of molecular biology have revealed that design in life is too complex to have come about by chance. Cell, which is the fundamental unit of life, contains the most complex systems humanity has ever encountered. The systems found in the cell and their functionality are much more complex and efficient than a larger city ever built by humans. Moreover, the cell maintains its existence in cooperation with other organelles. Even if one of these organelles is missing, the cell cannot remain alive. This means the first cell had to be fully formed and functioning to continue its survival. A fact that totally refute the claim of evolution is that the cell developed its organelles later through evolution. Much to the surprise of evolutionists, the probability of coming into existence of one single protein without which cell cannot function is scientifically zero. Any attempt to synthesize protein in the most advanced laboratories under highly controlled conditions have already met with great defeat. This means that it is impossible for the cell to have come into being by coincidence, and therefore it must definitely have been created. These scientific facts that I have shown to you clearly demolish the theory of evolution and establish the truth of creation. The claims of the evolutionists are far from being scientific, and they cannot be regarded as rational in explaining the perfect creation of every single living being. Modern scientific findings have proved the theory of evolution to be false, but the adherents of this theory continue to keep this theory alive by deceiving people with false evidences and imaginary stories solely because they do not want to accept that God, the possessor of infinite might, 
knowledge, wisdom, is the creator of everything non-living and living, and that he is the one who gave every living being the necessary system suiting best to their surroundings.